Hey, this is Lorena and I wanted to do a video for you on how to make a banner. I did this banner a long time ago and <laughs> I want to finish it this year. I want to get it done. I wanted to share how I embroidered all the lettering. Also how I aligned the fabric. This is wedding satin fabric. Uh, it's hard to work with, but it just quilts beautifully. All right, I went ahead and I digitized the letter J as big as I wanted to make it and I put it on my embroidery machine and it embroidered the letter. It took about 45 minutes. I used metallic thread and it looks beautiful. I love this thread, by the way. And I went ahead and I used two layers of tearaway stabilizer. You can use more, but I like two layers because it gives a little bit more thickness to the lettering, gives a little more oomph for the step stitching and it tears away right at the edge of the lettering and there's no shadowing so when you're quilting there's no extra fabric and or if you just hang it the way it is you're not going to see the shadowing of stabilizer what i'm doing here is i have a center seam and i make sure that the lettering is right under the hoop and i give myself about an inch or two space between each letter here's the letter e i did the same thing and now i'm adding the letter s this is what the banner looks like it's pretty large or long what I want to do now is add a border to the banner and I cut three inch strips of satin and I'm using interfacing the real thin one with some of that fusible on it. And here I have the X of the mat and it's a 45 degree angle cut. What I do is I line up the fabric to that X area and then I follow the line that goes all the way across. What I like about this, it ends up making this beautiful 45 degree cut and it looks like a really beautiful pointy V. I'm also doing the same thing with the border that I'm going to add to the bottom. I have both fabrics facing out or you could face them in, but you want them to different angles. And what I'm doing here is I'm lining up that fabric to the edge of the fabric. I recommend that you extend about a fourth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew all the way down and leave myself a fourth right there. And I'm going to also do that with the opposite end and you see that I clamped that other border down. After you do that, you're going to have an open seam on the bottom and you're going to go ahead and sew them together. You're going to fold your fabric in half and sew all the way up and stop at the fourth and this is what it should look like. I'm going to show you the opposite end where I didn't have it sewn all the way through so I need to fix that so I don't have a little opening. And this is what it looks like. I went ahead and trimmed off and made sure that everything looked nice and straight and I added the opposite borders. I extended it a little bit but afterwards I trimmed that off to line up with the V point and then I also put the border to the top of it. What I'm going to do after I I'm finished with this is I'm gonna get on the long arm and design it and quilt it so I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next time bye